everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Google Pixel 8 Pro camera and seeing what it can do for photo, video and low light. Let's go. So we're going to start off on the 05 times ultra wide camera here in this spot. This year, all three rear cameras have been upgraded from the Pixel 7 Pro last year, which is so exciting. Starting off with the ultra wide, this camera is the full frame equivalent of 12 millimeters and produces 48 megapixel files. It has a faster aperture compared to last year's ultra wide camera and produces larger files. The 7 Pro created 12 megapixel files. Kind of like, like that, like kind of, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. <laughs> oh, that's so cool there. I'm going to be sharing a mixture of photos in today's video. I have JPEG straight out of the camera so we can see the processing this Pixel 8 Pro does. I have unedited RAWs and then my edited version of the RAW. I will also share some side-by-side -side comparisons of all those files. Now let's take a look at video with the ultra wide camera and wow, these video files look amazing. In ultra wide, you can still see some noise in the darkest parts of the image. So if you keep an eye out on the garage doors in the background, but other than that, the footage is so clear, sharp and vibrant. The stabilization is smooth too. I made sure to walk around as much as possible while filming so we can take a look at that. I like that with you, you were like leaning towards, yeah, that's perfect. Next, I'm taking photos on the main camera, which is called the wide camera. This camera has a full frame equivalent field of view of 24 millimeters, which is a great focal length for portraits where you can still incorporate lots of the background into your shots. Compared to last year's 7 Pro, this year's wide camera still produces 50 megapixel files, which I think is a great size. Just like the ultra wide, they have improved the aperture of the wide camera compared to last year. I am absolutely blown away by the camera quality in this year's Pixel 8 Pro. I really love what the photos are looking like, especially when we have have a lot of light to work with. There is a beautiful level of detail. I think the Pixel 8 Pro photo processing has a really nice balance between being sharp while also having character. Um, are you able to bring your hands kind of towards your face even as well? Wow, that looks so cool. Oh, I love that. Hold that because it's loading. Hold it, hold it. Okay. My only downside to this phone is the amount of time it takes to take photos when shooting in 50 megapixel mode, RAW plus JPEG. I know a portrait session is not something you would normally do with a phone, but a situation like this where I am taking many photos one after another of someone can be reflected in real life when you take burst photos of your kids or pets or even a group photo where the subjects may be moving around quickly. RAW plus JPEG in 50 megapixel mode can be a bit demanding of the phone. At first, I am able to take about three to five photos then it starts to slow down more and more in between each shot and do you want to try one if you want to sit just out here on the curb that looks so pretty there if it gets too bright you can close your eyes when you have a set to 12 megapixel raw plus jpeg or jpeg only it is so much faster here's an example of what it looks like when i'm constantly pressing the button in those modes another thing i really love is the 8 pro is living up to its pro name by giving us photographers proper control over how we capture our photos. Before, we had our dual exposure sliders for highlights and shadows. Now, we have the ability to manually set brightness, shadows, white balance, focus, shutter speed, and ISO all in the native camera app. Side note, they are all also easily accessible with your right thumb, which makes it so easy to adjust while shooting. So I wanna get a shot with like all this in the background, but it's really high up, so I feel like if you wanted to stand just out here in the middle of the road. I found the white balance slider all the way to the left of the screen was hard to reach one handed in previous models. For this review today, I decided to take photos without tapping on the screen or adjusting anything so we can see the auto performance of the camera out of the box. I hate the orange stuff in the background. Do you wanna maybe if you like kind of hug your, your own arms? I wish those objects in the window were not there because they are so distracting from an otherwise beautiful looking background. So I used Magic Eraser to get rid of it and it did a great job at cleaning up the background. I have some video tests to share with you. These were all filmed in 4K. Again, video from the 8 Pro is looking fantastic. I love what this video footage looks like and the stabilization is extremely steady even when I'm walking around. This spot is perfect for some two times portraits here as well because we've got a little bit of green in the background. 
and then this nice colour of the wall too. Now I'm taking photos with two times zoom, which I normally choose to use for portraits when I want to isolate my subject a little more. When using a more zoomed in focal length like this, it's always better to have as much light as possible in the photos. Even though we were in the shade with just a little bit of backlight, I'm really impressed with the detail you can see in the photos. That's cool. Do you want to try like a, maybe like a side on? Yeah, that's cool. I also tested two times zoom in a slightly sunnier spot and here are what the photos look like side by side when you take them in the shade compared to the sun. I feel like maybe here, more dappled. Yeah, actually, that's cool. Oh, that looks so cool. This is like a headshot. Finally, we have our five times telephoto camera, which is the full frame equivalent of 110 millimeters and produces 48 megapixel files. They have again improved on the aperture compared to last year's five times zoom, which one of the benefits is that you won't need as much light to get a good quality photo. At five times though, I still find that having your subject in direct bright light is where you'll get your best results. I thought it would be interesting to photograph half of Sophia's face in the shade and the other half in the sun. I really love the moody results and the phone did a great job at balancing this tricky lighting situation. In the rolls, I ended up using a brush in Lightroom over the shadowy part to increase the shadows and exposure to balance out the photo. Let's check out video in five times. With standard stabilization, it does such a fantastic job at keeping the footage stable, which is very impressive at 110 millimeters. My only issue was that it was hard creating movement with my video shots, like panning, for example. The stabilization would jolt thinking that I was making a mistake by moving. Before we get to the front camera and low light, let's check out portrait mode. I find portrait mode is not too bad for people, especially when you look at the photo as a whole. When you zoom in and start taking a closer look around, I find that the blur outline is a bit too obvious in some places. You will also see in the selfie camera, which has autofocus now, yay, <laughs> that it does struggle a little bit with my curly hair too. Also, here we have Magic Eraser coming in handy again to get rid of that little bit of rubbish that was annoying me on the floor. So now let's try out selfie mode. We can do this with the normal photo camera and also portrait mode as well. And we have two options. We have one times like this or 0.7 times where it zooms out just a little bit more, which I really like because you can see more of the background. So I'm going to take a photo on each of them right here in the shade. And I'm also going to take an example in the sun too. And here we have the second spot. So instead of being completely shady, we have this bright sunlight here bouncing back onto my face. I also want to try out vlogging with the Pixel 8 Pro as well. So right now I'm using the selfie camera and as you can see, I am just holding the phone. It's <laughs> just a leaf fell on my arm. So I'm going to walk back a little bit. So we've got plenty of space to walk and we'll see what the stabilization looks like with the selfie camera when I'm walking around a little bit. I'm also gonna switch over to the microphone of the Pixel 8 too, so we can hear what that sounds like. So right now I'm on the selfie camera and I'm at one times. You also have a shortcut here for 1.4 times if you wanna zoom in while you're recording. And I do like that you can do that while it's recording and it's a nice smooth transition too. Something I've been doing recently is vlogging with the back camera. So I can't actually see what I'm recording right now, but I wanna do this same test that we did with the selfie camera. So I'm gonna walk back and walk in the exact same spot that we were walking before. I'm also gonna cut back to the microphone of the Pixel 8 Pro because now it's facing in a different direction and we can hear what that sounds like while I walk around and dance probably in the background of that shot. <laughs> Last but not least for vlogging, I have the ultra wide lens. This is such a fun lens to do video one like this because you can see so much of the location. I use it a lot like this when I'm traveling. So let's walk in the exact same place again and we'll see what the stabilization of that footage looks like. I'll move around a little bit too. Last but not least, we're gonna test out low light photos, so night sight. And we're here at the harbor. I'm standing at the car park because I have a really beautiful shot right here of the harbor with a center point tower. And I've got this big tree in the foreground too. So that'll give us some interesting things to look at at the high resolution image. So now I'm gonna get a shot where we can see a lot of the water in the foreground too.
the wind's picking up, the rain's coming. <laughs> I think this happened during the Pixel 6 Pro review. It just started raining while we were doing our night sight shots. I'm gonna get one more and then I'm gonna get some video as well. And while we're here, let's do a quick vlogging shot with the harbor in the background. Why, why does this always happen? <laughs> the wind just picked up out of nowhere. Today was the most beautiful warm day. But here we have some video shots <laughs> with the selfie camera in 4k with a storm coming <laughs> let's do one more with the back camera whoa the wind is like warm that's so weird okay i'll walk a little bit as well say hi to dan <laughs> So I'm filming on the Pixel 8 Pro right now, but we got rained out of our night sight shots. But I'm pretty happy with the photos that I did get. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know down in the comments. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.